Hey guys, what's up? Old Helderado here. Now I'm going to explain this the best I can for everybody. This is great for the new players, but what people are not telling you, you need this thirst zapper. You need a nuclear grenade. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. But what they're not telling you is you've got to be a certain level before you can use it. For This is for the new players. Okay. I do put them in my vending machine right here in my camp. My camp's always here. But what you got to do to get this gun, nuclear world on tour. Then when you come down here, you're going to have to play these games and earn points to get these. There is a exploit to get insane points. I think you got to use an explosive gun, Gatling gun, explosive rounds, or I think a fire gun, something like that. It's on YouTube. Look it up. But you come here at this terminal. You earn all these points. I went to the wrong one. I got all this shit. Come down here, you got the points, you'll get Thirst Zapper. Then you gotta get the plans to update or upgrade it. Because it has to be upgraded to get the max XP, which I need to do mine again. And stuff. But yes, YouTube, there's a video showing you how to get them points within an hour. If that. Now, I get the question about the super jump. This is new players, it's the easiest way to do it. Go somewhere there's dirty water, you're gonna get a mutation. You want the mutation, I think it's called marsupial. Something like that. It's on YouTube too, that will give you the jump. It's a mutation. I don't have no jump pack, so this is all I use. I'm in no hurry with this game, trust me. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I'm taking my sweet time. I'm a new player too. I ate two and a half, three months I've been playing. So this helped you guys out. Cause I keep getting questions about it and all that. Now you'll see I got that jump worm super jump and it's a mutation just go somewhere there's dirty water pick up dirty water until you get the mutation Case is now you want to set your cards up I ain't going to go through the whole detail of it all that you got to set your cards up depending on what level you are what cards you got you want to work most on your intelligence have that built up and the cards where you're on a team. Now, after you set all that up, get you some sleep. Get you some sleep. This will give you an XP boost, I think, for an hour. Don't quote me on that. Something like that. This will build it up. Now, you want to find you a team to join. That will give you more XP. And make sure it is a casual team. Then after you've joined your team, we're going to come over here to West Tech. Yes, Ed, we all know what it is. But believe it or not, there's a lot of new players that don't know. And you have, in order for this, it's just not a fucking glitch. This is really an exploit. I'll explain it as we go. In my opinion. And the fastest way, if you're a new player, to open up all these places up is find you a camp or somebody you could spawn on to get there where it would open it up for you. Because that's what I do. As you can see, I haven't got the map opened up. Now we're here. You want to get buffs that will give you more XP. Say, brain bombs. Uh, yeah, I'm... Damn, I need to eat. And drink. Yeah, I have no problem drinking. But you want the ones that give you XP. You want bobbleheads. You want comic books. Stuff like that's going to give you more XP. Because trust me, I ain't got my cards set up right. I can never get it right. These bobbleheads really help out. My last video, I showed how to farm this infinite. To get bobbleheads and comic books and shit like that. And of course, I gotta open up the damn lunchbox, make sure everybody knows who the hell I am. Like I said, you want to take these buffs. Don't go crazy with it. Look up how to build the XP build on your cards. It's all over YouTube. There's many different ones. And I'm not picking on nobody, but these guys showing they're getting 500, 30,000, 40,000. They fail to realize they're super, super high level. They got more core, more cards, more stuff than what us low levels have. Not picking, just saying. 
and you want to pick up what you can around here. Don't get too overcome. Now we're going to enter in here. Now, the only glitch part about this is the Thirst Zapper. It's a glitch, unlimited ammo. Best thing you use, you can throw one grenade and wipe out half of them. But I want to go to three sections here and do the whole damn thing. I did the video slow, but I sped it up so you all see. I got my armor on, I got all my buffs. Look at all that XP. It could be more, I got set up more. Just went up another level, 2,000, XP, some shit like that. You're getting serious XP, but the catch of it is, not what I was telling you. You got to finish, what is it, story mission for all this? Find the secrets of West Tech. When you finish that, that is when hit will, you will be able to respawn these guys will respawn in here you're not doing it it's what I call a server respawn because this basically throw you come in here and it'll basically throw you in it's like the old day solo lobby but you're stuck in here by yourself now you see I went three three places there took out the whole damn place Go back out to Appalachia. You can sit in an elevator inside here and they will respawn in if you have finished the quest. But I found that very hard because as soon as you, they reset and you open the door on the elevator, they're fucking everywhere. And sometimes when you come out here, they might spawn back in, which is cool. That's more XP. Because usually what happens, somebody, new player, somebody comes in there and it automatically spawns them back in. After about five minutes, go back in. All the mutants will be spawned. Milk that XP. Get it done. But that's it. And you will know you've done it right when you come in. And the doors are closed. But that's it, guys. I'm gone.